Wer bist denn du? Wer bist denn du? Hey, ich bin der Michael. Wir klarieren aus in Wilhelmstadt. Erst in Otrabann, nee Quatsch, erst in Punda und dann machen wir die Customs und ähm, dann, holen, dann gehen wir alle zusammen zur Immigration, dann kriegen wir alle einen hübschen Stempel und dann fahren wir hier weg. We're on our way to customs and immigrations. Immigration wants to see all the crew members, so we're all in the tiny little tailor car. And uh, it's Sunday today, so it seems things are closed. They're supposed to be 24-7, but uh, maybe you need to call them or something. Michael's trying to figure it out. Official permission to, to enter the one way street in the wrong direction. Alright, we checked out of the country, we've got our Zarpi and uh, now we gotta go from, so that's where the customs is, we're gonna go over the bridge, over there and then immigration is where that other boat is. So apparently in Curaçao you can drive when you're intoxicated. The only thing that you need to be able to do is to put your key, be able to put your key into the ignition and turn it. So Andre told me, because he lives in Bonaire on a neighboring island, he said that um, if somebody's just going like 20, 30 kilometers an hour, you know that they're probably drinking or drunk. So that's how you know to stay away from them. <laughs> Immigration. Ja, Nike, was machst du denn da? Cooles Ausfüllen. Macht dir das Spaß? Ja. Ich weiß den Namen der Yacht. Marlin. Marlin? Ja, like the ja. fish. Geschafft? Ja, all done. We will be out sailing for about two weeks and only visit small islands with no or hardly any infrastructure, so we made sure we stocked up well with food and drinks. It is protected against sinking, halt, through different shots, sagen wir das. Das sind hier die Schotten. Und diese Shots, da fehlt noch eine, ist vorne, beginnt das mit dem Ramschutz, das heißt also hinter dem Hinter dem Bug ist in so einer Entfernung ungefähr fest eingeschweißt schon mal ein Shot. Mhm. Das heißt also, wenn wir jetzt auf einen Container drauf fahren oder auf einen Stein oder sonstiges und haben da vorne ein Loch, dann macht uns das nichts. Mhm. I'm testing the PLDs, the Personal Locator Beacon in the Life Jacket. So, see there. Sending out a signal now to our AIS. So, I'm just making sure that all of these are good for everybody. Check that all the tablets are in because these are self-releasing ones. And put them back in. The rule on board is whenever I wear a life jacket, everybody else wears a life jacket as well. You can always wear one. Feel free to always wear one. You know, if somebody feels that they want to wear one all the time, fair enough. And at night, we always wear uh, the jackets as well. So we all. Everybody got their life jacket, they're all fitted now to everybody and then they get little name tags on them so in case of emergency everybody knows exactly which one to grab and um, yeah, everything's checked so we're safe. Good to go! 
All right, we're all checked out and we're just gonna go from Santa Barbara Plantain from the marina here over to Spanish Waters, I think it's called. It's in Anchorage just out here because the whole day has been a little busy and we just don't want to leave like you know, everybody having run around the city today. So I'm gonna go to the Anchorage and then leave early morning tomorrow. Michi had hired me to work as a co-skipper on his boat Marlin for two weeks and since it was the first time for me to run his vessel, he introduced me to the tasks at hand step by step. Spannend, das ist so ein bisschen Workout, ne, Nike? Wird er jetzt so langsam warm? Ja, wir machen vorher noch gar nicht warm. Okay, das machst du sehr gut. Es ist immer wichtig, dass man die Leute auch lobt zwischendurch, ne? Mhm. Jetzt 1,3. Ja, mach 1,5. Da ist das diese Hydraulik und die spannt also den, äh, den Mast nach hinten, dass er ein bisschen gebogen ist. Hast du eins ja. ah! Okay. Versuch mal einen normalen Satz zu sagen. Äh, ähm, sch, 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 sch. La, la, la. Okay, alles klar. Und? Zufrieden? Alles Bis jetzt? Endlich wieder Endlich! Oh. Yay. 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 Right, we're at anchor. Spanish waters and we're off to grab a drink. Run, run, run. As you can tell, Manu's our designated driver not only at land but also at sea. After a tasty meal and some drinks in the pub, it was time for an early night sleep so we can lift up anchor early in the morning the next day. Marlin is a rock solid 60 foot long performance yacht designed by Robert Perry and made from aluminum. She has a huge mass, so usually we take up the main and the first reef since it's already more than enough sail area. So, we segeln jetzt am Wind. Im Moment mit gefühlten Wind 30, 40 Grad ungefähr. Haben das Groß im zweiten Reef und die Fock komplett draußen. Ja, haben eine Schräglage von ungefähr 18 bis 20 Grad. Die zieht noch nicht durchs Wasser. Wir machen schön 5,2 über Grund. Alles gut, oder? Super! Ja. Happy Sailing! Fowler is a super sturdy and safe expedition vessel and whilst she was cutting through the waves beautifully steered by the autopilot, I took some time to teach our guests some essential nuts. I just love, love sailing this beautiful lady, so let me give you some facts about her. With uh, 54 feet of waterline, she has a hull speed of 9.8 knots and usually cruises around 8.5 knots. She's 15 feet wide with a draft of 6.6 .6 feet and she weighs some 30 plus tons and holds some 1,200 liters of water and 1,500 liters of diesel. Quite impressive, eh? We had a super awesome sail today from Curaçao to Clean. And uh, Andre had asked me to get him a lionfish, so there he is, the body. Now I just have to 
do the little operation of uh, getting the spines off and everything. We had a great first sail from Curaçao to the neighboring island small Curaçao and we're now safely hooked up to one of the free mooring balls here in front of the island and I think it's time to explore a little bit but more about that next week. This is the little lionfish that died for us. Thank you little fishy.